Hey, what's up Blender users? I am Jonathan from Germany. That's why I have this weird accent. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this sci-fi looking screen. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so because I will be uploading every Saturday new exciting content on this channel. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So for this screen, we're not gonna start in the node editor in Blender, but with an external bed file because for these, um, for this pattern, we're not gonna use nodes, but an image. And this image should look like this, which is an output from a bed file or a screen recording. So I recorded my screen, um, so I got this image sequence. Um, there will be a download link for this image sequence in the video description and also the code for your own bed file, which should look like this. Like this and essentially what this does uh, if you double click the file you will get lots of numbers on your screen in a green color and yeah so you can get a screenshot or take a video from that so now we're gonna go over to blender and first delete the default cube and add a plane so this plane should roughly be the size of your screen um, like this so it's a correct ratio now um, open another window and go into the shader editor we will need a new material and because this is an emissive material we don't need the principled bsdf okay because um, today for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to use one image if you want to have multiple images just um, type in image texture and go to open and select all your images and then um, click on auto refresh so it refreshes refreshes every frame okay now that i have this image i can preview it when i have the node wrangler add-on enabled and i do so i just um, press Control shift click on the node and now it goes into a viewer node and if I would go into the look dev mode, we can see that we have this image right here. Um, this image looks a bit low res. Um, sometimes uh, if it's really low res um, and more like a 8-bit style, you want uh, to go with close it as th the interpolation method. But for me, this does not change much. Well, actually it does. Um, it gets a bit more sharp so I'm gonna go with closest and now if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled you can again press ctrl T to bring in the texture coordinate and the mapping node and we're gonna need them because we will play around with the vector okay you can of course leave the numbers um, as they are right now and just plug them into an emission shader but I want to have this cool looking pattern so we will need a separate separate x, y, z and a combine x, y, z node um, to make this happen and connect all the outputs with the inputs and nothing has changed because we have just separated the vectors and combined them. Now what you will need is a math node and change this math node to multiply and make two more and the middle one should be round and the last one divide. So now plug the value output of the first node into the first input of the next and do the same thing again. And now we will also need a value node. Um, this is just preference so we control so we can control the blockiness um, a bit better and plug the output into the bottom input and bottom input of the first and second and third node sorry and then do the same things two more times so select all the three math nodes and duplicate them two more times and now um, plug in the output of the value node into the into the according nodes like this and just because I like it I will press shift and right click to make one um, vertex, or I don't actually know how this is called, I will just call it vertex, um, so it looks a bit better. And now maybe get a value of 50. Okay, 
Um, of course, this hasn't changed anything because we haven't connected the vector outputs yet. Um, so get the x output and plug it into the first input of the first node and not uh, in the second node, um, but in the y output into this multiply node and the z. Well, the z is actually not that important because this is a flat plane, um, but I just like to do it um, because it looks nicer because of convenience. So now um, plug in also all the outputs into the combine XYZ um, node and we get this look. These blocks are for me a bit too large. So I'm just gonna adjust the number till I get something mm, like this. Yeah, this looks fine f to me. Okay, um, because this is gonna be an emissive material, we will also need an emission shader. So, so get an emission shader, plug the color output into the color input and emission into surface like this. Now, if we would go ahead and adjust the strength, we can see that it starts to glow. So now I like to get a color ramp and play around with the white um, to get a color I like. Something like this looks cool. And now also play around with the black um, because that way you can adjust how many squares there, there are. And I think this looks pretty good. Okay, um, I also don't want the black background so I will just add a mix shader with an transparent with a transparent shader and mix it and now up the factor and it does well it does something but because we are in Eevee we have to enable screen space reflections and also change the blend mode to alpha blend and now this does not work because we haven't actually um, applied a real factor and we're gonna use the color ramp also as a factor and if this does not work um, just change the inputs and now we can see that we have an transparent that we have a transparent background um, because this is now transparent we will also have to adjust the strength of the glow to make it a bit more glowy um, for example 200 looks pretty good to me and there we go we now have a nice little screen and if you want to make it look a little bit cooler you can of course get the camera to your right angle and then what i uh, i immediately do is add um, depth of field so i'm gonna go with um, a focal length of 45 and focus distance is for me um yeah, I think uh, 3.2 meters are fine. And now we can see that we get some nice, some nice depth of field. Uh, maybe this was a bit um, too short. But um, you can always just play around with that um, until you get something you like. And I mean, you have already seen at the start how this can look like, but this is, for example, one result I got using this technique. And if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends and we're gonna see us in the next video.